Mandini Bulse Bandla Nonke Di Kale Kum Fundis. Dize Kumam Fundis, and Dize Kubonga Bandu Abate Basi Bulkela, Batele La Bolshel Lubaleke Kangaka Lanam Sanje Di Bulele Kusis Tors Nagupura Abandu who are busy organizing these events in order to empower and develop our communities. And in Tolela, in Tolela Mwaz. The Pinde, and then the Ili Zuelo Veluano, Kubobonke Abandu Abate Bachelo, as is Twakumbe, so Ku Genelonga Manzi in Lin, the Kunetim Vula, is Ngulu Kuchanje, Apo Ekapa. Yazi ndoba abanye Bamosha glele zizindu Abanye zizindu zabonga pagati Siti nge kubando banjaro Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there Those who managed to make it Online and those who are there live eh, <clears throat> Ika malam Tungulunu abu Patrick Kulati eh, I am a proud father and a husband and these uh, two responsibilities, I take them very, very seriously. They define me more than anything on this earth. And these are the two most important functions that any man can play. <clears throat> as much as I'm the one talking today, I do not claim any superiority or any excellence more than any other father or parent who's out there. Uh, my purpose really is simply to share my own experience, encourage those of us who are busy fathers to prioritize presence in the lives of their children. I recently finished writing a book, and in it I tell a story, my own personal story. Uh, a big chunk of my early life without my father present. He and my mother divorced when I was still very, very young. And so I grew up with my mother and my grandparents on the side of my mother. <clears throat> but things happened, and I tell a bit more in the book about that. Things happened that made me vow and said to myself, I never want my children to grow without me present, no matter what the situation is. I do not want to have children that grow without me present because of some of the things that I went through, which I won't have time to delve on them now. Fortunately for me, during my teenage years, I went to stay with my father. It was my best years. I watched him. I looked at how he dealt with me. He dealt with the family, the things that he did. You know, <laughs> on certain days, he would take his guitar I gali katar, masi ambe nisi ete kuinsi okulala, amash, July handicap. Sibe si lapa, sim kandrile, kunye nabani naba naba aba zemven kwam. You know, it was a wonderful experience to see how a man is in a, in a family setup and, uh, and how he handles himself. And so I learned a lot from him. One, lesson that I learned, which I learned from both my father absence and my father presence, is presence is far better than presence. Ubuko, bunono, kakulu, kunezipo. Presence is far, far more better than presence. I could have received things from my father, clothes, not December, but to be in his presence, for him to be in my presence, it was the best gift ever. I'm a relatively busy man. I do, I have with a heavy schedule throughout the year, but I try to prioritize being present in the midst of busyness. Now, in our world, busyness, not is a badge of honor, is a sign of, um, 
you know, a, a status symbol. Catching a flight, traveling, sleeping in hotels, being in this place, meeting after meeting. This is something that we talk about as if it's the badge of honor. But here is a lesson that I learned from being busy. That uncontrolled busyness is theft of time from the most important people in your life. That's the second thing. So when my, when my wife told me she was pregnant, I made a commitment that I would not rob my family of my presence because of busyness. I was traveling even then, I was doing all sorts of things. I did not always succeed, but it was a commitment at the back of my mind which made me be there, take them to school when I'm around, go them and fetch them from school take them to their soccer matches, take them, go and, and, and be there in, uh, uh, when parents' meetings are there. This, for me, is one way which I wanted to show my presence. Drive them from place to place. Today, they are older. And now, presence has a different meaning for them now. They have other things that they are busy with. But they also, they also need my presence. I need to take them from places. Sometimes I find myself being an Uber driver, moving from place to place, you know, from shop to shop, taking them. Sometimes there's nothing much to say. Sometimes I phone them, send a message on their list, and for, there's really nothing much to say because they've got other priorities now. But what satisfies me is the sense that I feel that I'm there in order for them at any point that they want to say something, no matter what happens to them, I want them to have a sense, an abiding sense in their mind that their father was always there. I'm not always good at this, but at least it's a commitment that I've made. And yindo ekfneka njengo tata sienze le. As I conclude, the kumlibale ndi kendal funda, di albali sakle ngwati, di balileyo, Lomfo uti apa ukulenga pandle kutata wake kutuwa ngu Dennis Miller. Jebe kulenga pandle kutata wake nje. Uti nge nyimini ubukele i TV. One of the animal documentaries. Jebe bukele nje atapele indi ubakuko i, i elephants i in love. Ez love ez zi. Kukona ez zloko vayo zi. Laba ye zi nye zi tise manzini zi velezi fike zi nchwili sele. It king ali kai comment ngalendo. Apparently, what this is happening, what is happening here is that these elephants have reached a an adolescent stage. These are all males. Out of the twenty five of them, all the females are quiet, feeding, drinking. But these males, male animals, are going through a process which is called mass think. Now, apparently, this is an adolescence. So, ka uibo na kute, ine, 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 ina manze as a kre, a kre na pumayo, alapa bonus ba ifike le letre sheni ngoku. Ya zlokov. Ya zlokov. Kaba, klenda uzi kuyo, zisel patwe. In other words, it's, this is a, like, a, it's not like their natural environment. But they've been put here. But in their natural environment, what normally happens, there would be a male, a male elephant, that would come closer to masting young male elephants. And they would go across, they would walk together, it teaching it how to control himself. And they would go, and this animal, when it was together with another male, it would keep quiet, it would control its, uh, its, itself, its high hormones that were pumping at the time. This is what our young people need. We have young people in our streets, mass thing, like that animal. Especially single moms and single parents. But these boys need us, men, both biological fathers and those that are not biological fathers. Stepfathers, grandfathers, they need us to temper with them, to guide them. And so, my friends, for those fathers who are out there trying, busy, businessmen, trying, hustling, doing that, let's prioritize being present for our children. Let's eliminate uncontrolled busyness and make sure that we don't steal time 
valuable time from the people that are most important to us, our wives and our children. We need to be present. The black nation need now to be present in our children. And so I applaud this church, JG Zwane Church, for what you're doing. It's amazing. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May those of us who are fathers and those who will be fathers one day make a commitment that even when we cannot make it to the top of what we would like to do, like I fail sometimes, but at least there's a commitment to be present and not bring presence, thinking that they will take over our responsibility. Guskakul.